Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, you're going to meet the CEO of one of the most successful event management companies in Dallas. His journey just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, if you've ever been to a big arena where there's a big speaker like a Grant Cardone or a Tony Robbins, if you look around, there is all this magic behind the scenes that create the experience that you uh, you have when you, you, you hear these great motivational speakers. Somebody who knows something about that, Chris Knowles, he's the CEO of IHN Productions. Thanks for coming on the show. You bet. It's great yeah. to be here. You've been doing this for 31 years? Yeah, 31 years. And you look like a very young man. So how did this start for you? You know, I was in college and studying accounting, marketing, and management, and uh, got into Amway mm -hmm. and listened to a lot of motivational stuff. And I sponsored a friend of mine who uh, was a uh, HR consultant, mm -hmm. and he um, was asked by our diamond to come speak in, at his first event. It was like 4,000 people. And when he got there, you know, they wined and dined him, pulled him in in a limo, and he's walking out of the event like six feet off the ground. And he's like, there's got to be a way to capture the excitement of these weekends. So two weeks before I graduated from college, I, um, uh, we actually produced our first recap video of an Amway event. And I got out and I literally just started getting on the phone calling and and that's how we started wow and so that started to evolve from just you doing uh video work to you actually managing the event yeah so so what happened is we just did recap videos for about three years and then we had somebody one day said hey you're doing the video can you just handle the video for our event it's like sure no problem and it's like, oh no, what are we going to do? How are we going to do it, right? But that's how it started. Okay, we want to scroll down his homepage because it's very impressive. I mean, you do, uh, I guess you told me your largest event to date is 15,000 people. That's amazing. Yeah. That's a lot of pressure too. Yeah, a lot. Well, actually it was more than that. It was, it was 15,000 at American Airlines Center, 6,000 people at the Dallas Convention Center. Wow. Because they had an overflow. And then we had to take seven fiber channels and talk literally from stage to stage uh, uh, back and forth. So it was a two events at the same time. And we had speakers yeah. that spoke on one uh, on both stages. Well, so. that's got to be a lot of pressure because there's a lot of <laughs> moving pieces and, and uh, technology, you know, fails sometimes. A, a mic goes dead. Um, you know, a fiber line goes down. Yeah. Um, you, uh, I'm assuming you went off without a hitch. Uh, yeah, it did. I mean, honestly, we had we ended up bringing a, a fiber tech uh, that was a specialist in doing all this stuff, and he literally sat out on the dock managing the fiber for that the whole time. And I mean, there are so many details in that event mm -hmm. that that um, I mean, it took months and months to you know to get everything um, in order. But yeah, it worked out great. Sure, we're going to show some video, and I want you to describe what we're watching here. Is is that the event you were just speaking about? No, that's that's the same client. Yes. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's um, a huge. We've done shows with them. There's Darren Hardy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, not Darren Hardy. Uh, yeah. Darren Kidd. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, these are these are the events. Matter of fact, we're doing an event for them coming up here in about a month out in California. Wow. Let's talk about some of the things that people wouldn't notice right away. I mean, I, I've always been impressed with you guys set the mood, everything from the lighting to the sounds, the music. Um, talk about, you know, how you work with your clients to create just the right atmosphere. So first thing we do is sit down with them and get a look and feel 
you know, because a lot of a lot of where technology is going is LED walls and all of that. So if you've got an LED wall behind them, it's like what graphics and all of that. So then we get motion graphic designers to come in and build all of that. Then you design the lighting around it and the scenic and then music is part of it. We literally sit down and we'll, we'll a lot of times sit down for a day um, and have somebody come out and make sure we have all the music right and, and everything. And, and it's a lot of pre-production. Um, and, and that's the, the thing that some people don't understand is a production doesn't come off. It's called pre-production for a reason. Pre means before. So if you're waiting till right then to figure it out, you're too late. Absolutely. We've got some pictures off of Facebook and as we're looking at these pictures, why don't you kind of describe some of the things that you're seeing and, and the attention to detail? Yeah, so that event there, um, that was out in Vegas. That's about a 60 foot wall by about 25 foot uh, tall LED wall and then a curved LED wall around it. That was in the Fort Worth Convention Center. Um, again, that's uh, there in the in the arena there at the convention center. This is um, some of our techs that are doing a great job. Zach Williamson um, handling video there for us. Um, that was at the Dallas um, American Airlines Center, yeah. is where that one was. That there was in uh, San Jose, California. We did a large event, fifteen thousand people. And then uh, they're about two blocks away from this, and we had a party set up for 15,000 people. They walked and did an after convention party. So, more yeah. of your tech? Uh, trying to look. That is for uh, the exchange, Army Air Force Exchange. Mm -hmm. um, so, that's what that one was. This one was a virtual event during COVID mm -hmm. that we ended up doing an LED wall, and that one had five different uh, languages streamed around the world. Um, this was Women That Soar, and that was a TV show that was that was aired um, around. This was um, you Cook Children's. Actually, we just <laughs> we just we just did an event for them yesterday and took that same picture right there no and and had projectors putting a happy birthday on uh, on the face of that building. So yeah, that was pretty cool. That was the event that uh, that I told you about. That we that was at the American Airlines Center, and they had the same the same set, the same everything at the Dallas Convention Center at the same time. So, so Chris, do you ever get to enjoy it? I mean, I guess when you're running it, it's like the the person who is uh, you know doing the Super Bowl. They're not enjoying the game. I mean, they're they're focused on making sure everything comes off without a hitch. You know, I, I get to what. Here's what happened: is we were shooting an infomercial. <laughs> Um, years ago, we used to do commercials and infomercials. I was shooting an infomercial and I was running the camera. And we ended up having some issues with some spots on a, with the jib, mm -hmm. okay? And we came back and we almost had to reshoot the whole thing. And what that taught me was like, you cannot be in a position of importance when you're producing a show or doing something. Sure. So what I learned from that moment on is I have to be the producer, not a technician. Yes. I've got to ask you about COVID because man, we all remember that where uh, you went from probably uh, booked solid to nothing mm -hmm. within a month. I mean, the events just probably started canceling. Yeah. So COVID hurt us. I mean, it is probably everybody in the industry. Mm -hmm. um, we lost 27 events and seven figures of income during that. Wow. Um, so to say it hurt, I mean, luckily we got through. I just say luck, my accounting background, I, I luckily had saved and had some money uh, going into it because otherwise, man, it, it, we wouldn't have lasted. Absolutely. Okay. Are, has it come back fully? Are, are you back to pre-COVID levels? Not quite. We're, we're approaching that. I mean, the last few months are, I mean, things are growing and growing like crazy. And I'm in the middle of actively um, growing and scaling my business right now. Sure. So what we're doing is, is uh, putting the right systems in place to grow and, and help clients and get where they need to get. What does it feel like when uh, the client comes up to you after the event and says, Chris, amazing, like 10 out of 10, that's got to feel wonderful. You know, I, I'm at the point now that I'm starting to um, try to build leaders. And so for me, 
it's more about, you know, trying to go back to the guys that I'm working with and saying, guys, I can't do this. IHN, our company can't do this without you. Mm -hmm. And trying to put the, the, um, the, uh, the praise on them. Yes. Because, again, if I'm just trying to say, oh, pat my back, it's not about me. It's really not. Absolutely. Uh, in the little time we have left, what's the defining difference between you and others in your industry? How do, how do you, what's your secret sauce? I, you know, I just care about people. I mean, uh, a lot of times it's, it's, you know, it's really about, uh, oh, how are the numbers? How are this or that? But most of my clients, um, I really am friends with them. I, I like, you know, I like them. I like talking to them. I like being able to spend time with them. Um, and stuff. So I've had a lot of clients. It's like, hey, you're not just a, a you know the pr production company. You're part of the family. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I try to do um, is you know look out for somebody. Like I have a contract with somebody right now that's a lot more, but their numbers are down. And I could say, oh no, you're going to have to pay us the whole amount. But but she comes to me and said, hey, is there any way to reduce? It? Yeah, absolutely. Because I know at this time. You know, I, I, we might take a little hit, but down the road, uh, we're going to do a lot more business with them. So I know, you know, what, what goes around comes around. Absolutely. Chris, you've been an amazing guest. We're going to end with the website, which is IHNPro.com. The great Chris Knowles. Thanks for coming on the show. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dan. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.